thing. Two out of three falls with a 60 minute time limit. Weighing 245 pounds, Hans Schmidt. His opponent, weighing 230 pounds, the NWA heavyweight wrestling champion, Lou Thayer, the referee, Sid Novak. Two out of three falls in a 60 minute time limit. Hi everybody, this is Russ Davis, International Amphitheater, Chicago, ringside. We have here another World Heavyweight Championship match, which involves Lou Fez, and uh, almost a perennial challenger, Hans Schmidt. Hans, you know, has a reputation for being an old meanie, and he started off precisely that way by refusing to shake hands, and, well, that even made it worse. Hey, Hans, you got your hair cut too high. It shows another wrinkle. These are big men, and you can expect to see a lot of action. Locked on Fez, side mirror. Fez is a beautifully proportioned fellow. So is Hans, for that matter. You hardly realize they're over six feet tall. They both are. any of his left of lose. Lose left-handed. <laughs> That's one of the nasty tricks that Luthez has, and he, he uses it more to infuriate the guys that he's wrestling with make them lose their temper. But he puts his elbow right in their face and then hits his hand. You've done it. like a load of soft bread.
Block reversed. <laughs> Did he open Schmidt's mouth when he hit him then? Schmidt's hanging on to this arm of Fez's. Fez wanted Novak around here so he could whip hunts in the bacon anyway. Pick up, body scissors, open. Down in front, Mr. Photographer. <laughs> Sid's crawling around there like he's looking for carpet tacks. He might be. Once while these fans get a little rough and start doing that. Fez had the makings of a Boston Crab there and switched it for a leg lock. That's good. Always ensures you the perfect fit of your teeth if you have any left afterwards. Head scissors on Schmidt. Ooh, that's a rough way to make a takedown. It's hard on the old neck. Bridge. Scramble. Hmm? A real good one. Watch it. You watch it, I'd suggest. Nelson on Fez.
There's a head scissors short here, I believe. Yeah. That's what Schmidt despises. He hits you. Make your old head ring. Oh, I reckon he's scared to death of you, Hans. Plain old chokehold. Drop to the tummy again. Chin lock posted. More of a chokehold there. Well, this is a new one that Hans has developed this trip. He said he had a new secret weapon. I wasn't aware of what it was. Unless it's this. Well, there goes Lou with that big old barren down body press of his. It's a flying body press. We got a count there, whether or not you saw it. And 25 seconds with a reverse body press, the winner of the first ball, Lou Thayer. Well, there you got it. Now get back in there, Hans. We got to hear from the boss. Go on, go on back. Lou's won the first fall. Seems like there are days when you can't win, doesn't it, Hans, huh? Go oh, hog on. Smith has lost the first fall. Ten seconds, Novak says. And then he stands there in Schmidt's way. Sid's an old, old time referee in the wrestling business and boxing. Well, he can only look right-handed, uh, Hans. That's the reason why.
Well, now that you got a hold of him, go ahead. What's the matter? Is he red hot or something? Hunt's is scared to death of that left hand of Thez's. Set into a hammerlock. Says was set for flying mare there. Uh, Schmidt got in his hair. Good seam. No, it won't come off. It's fastened on. Same match, still a hammerlock. Uh oh. The print of his elbow in his ear. Hard on elbows and ears. It didn't come out the way Hans thought it would. I imagine. But making so much lip music here and rest. Are just like getting hit with a pick handle. Schmidt. There's that knee drop to the tummy again. Like he's got Lou softened up here for fair. He's giving him a terrific pasting. I don't believe if you ask Thez what arena he was in, he could tell you right at this moment. It was a backbreaker. Do you think this is a little bit unnecessary, a second one, Mr. Smith? Well, there we go. One, two, three. So, Schmidt.
Schmidt owns a fall, but he's uh, going to try and get some insurance on it here by kicking Thez in the small of the back when Novak got in there and stopped him. Time, six minutes and 30 seconds. The winner of the second fall with a reverse backdrop, Hans Schmidt. He doesn't even want his hand held up. He's an old stinker, this guy. All he wants to do is win, and when he doesn't, he gets grumpy about it, you know. Grouchy? Well, we'll take time out for the boss, and then we'll be back again in a few seconds. Get near a corner like that man tells you. Well, as you know, this is a world championship match. Luthez has his belt up on it, his NWA championship, which amounts to a world heavyweight bout. There stands Novak. This guy gets the funniest look on his face when he knows everyone in the arena is watching. Ten seconds. He just stands there ignoring everybody. He's not afraid of any wrestler in the business. I've never seen Novak back up from any of them. This is what Schmidt wanted. He wanted to get in here while he could work Faz over. Got him pretty well crippled up from all of this beating. And then about little Novak, he take any golf off of me. He'll generally try and run the match. These are all legal tactics here. Otherwise, he'd be right in there stopping. That is not. Fez got his shoulder up, one, two, three. Oh, oh. This, this is going to cause a little bit of a ruckus. Schmidt thinks he's won. I don't believe he was aware of the fact. Looky here. This is going to touch off a storm. With a reverse, back. Get away from them. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, Lou Fez. Time, two minutes. One thing's for sure, Eddie Blake was not about to give up on that microphone to Hans Schmidt, but at any rate, dear friends and gentle customers, that's it. This is Russ Davis saying goodnight to you from International Amphitheater in Chicago. Hope you enjoy.